The next thing you'll need is a character. Design a character, then find its basic shape. The geometric shapes that make up the construction of the character. All characters can be broken down into these shapes. These are used when roughing out your animation. Details are not added yet. It is easier to redraw a rough character than a detailed drawing. Only, once you are satisfied with the action, you can start adding the details. If possible, avoid too many stripes, spots or complicated patterns. Keep your character simple. The more details you include, the more pencil mileage you will add to your work. Remember, your character will be drawn, and redrawn, dozens, or hundreds of times, and just one mistake can spoil the animation. Make hair, and fur, pleasing to look at, and not sketchy, jagged saw tooth edged, or wild. These are difficult to in between and can cause jiggly, bristling, or popping outlines. Once you are happy with your character, you will need one or more model sheets. You need to be able to see your character from every angle. Do a turnaround model sheet. To keep the proportions constant, horizontal lines are drawn across the page and every important feature to keep them aligned. The next important model sheet is a pose sheet. Your character is shown in a variety of typical poses and stances, expressions, and or attitudes that depicts its personality. Do as many poses as possible to familiarize yourself with the character. Another sheet is to point out various details specific to the character. This is especially important in a studio where several people will be working on the same character and to keep it true. When your model sheets are done, proceed to lesson 2.